Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. Nice day out here on back deck. Not so, not, not so sunshiny, but uh, about 58 degrees, so a little chill in the air, but not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, uh, a little breeze going. We'll see if we get any action here at the bird feeders. I'm gonna have to be filled up again here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, so check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. I'll leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, so cheers, church. Ooh, a little warm. Ha. Hot coffee on a cool day. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home, and our writer is Pastor Kimberly Noel Zeller from uh, Cole Camp, Missouri, where she lives with her husband and two children. And the scripture reading for today is Jeremiah 3, 12 to 14. So just a few verses. Jeremiah 3, yeah, 12 to, 12 to 14. Jeremiah 3, 12 to 14. Here we go. <clears throat> go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> return, faithless Israel, says the Lord. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful, says the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt, that you have rebelled against the Lord your God, and scattered your favors among strangers under every green tree, and have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. God calling the people of Israel to repentance. Not only the people of Israel, but you and I as well, right? Uh, okay, the devotion for today is, is titled Milk or Juice. And the three uh, theme verse is uh, parts of verses 12 and 13. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt. Every, every morning at school, my kindergartner eats breakfast and has a choice of milk or juice. Before she goes to school, I remind her to only drink milk because juice is high in sugar. After school, I ask what she had for breakfast. Did you have juice? Some days, she immediately covers her face and laughs. <laughs> we know what that means, right? On the days she hides her eyes from me, even without words, I know this means she drank juice and doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, we, we know that too. I know it's just juice, but this interaction is the beginning of a lifelong learning that rules and guidance are in place to keep us safe, to keep us and others safe and healthy, and that it, it's important to tell the truth and acknowledge when we have strayed from what we should do. In response to my daughter's downturned eyes, I remind her over and over that I only want to know the truth and that I am not mad. Now, I offer her my love and hopefully am modeling the grand love and forgiveness God offers us. God's commands are for our well-being. God loves us even when we stray. And God's forgiveness is vaster than anything we can imagine. That's a beautiful way to put it. Because we've all been there, right? We've all been those, we've all had those times when um, we've wandered away from what God wants us to do. And uh, that's why we open up each uh, worship service with confession and forgiveness. That's our opportunity to gather um, as individuals and as the body of Christ and to say, uh, as individuals, I have not been the best person I, I could have been this week, God. And as the body of Christ, we, we confess that we, we were not the body of Christ that we should have been this week, God. We have that opportunity to confess and then to hear the words of forgiveness, the words of absolution, that in, through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven of all of our sins. And, uh, and we can start that week, start the week again with a clean slate, knowing that we are forgiven, that we are loved, and that we are sent back out to try again. Um, yeah, 
and sometimes we have milk and sometimes we have juice, right? <laughs> yeah. God's commands are for our well-being, as he says. God loves us even when we stray and forgives us. Um, and God's forgiveness is vaster than anything we can imagine. Uh, so remember that today. When, when you uh, slip up, um, remember to apologize and confess to God. Say, hey, God, that wasn't, that wasn't right. I should have, shouldn't, I know better and I should have done better. Um, and then we hear those words of forgiveness that we are loved and forgiven. That's a, a good thing to remember this day. You are loved and you are forgiven. And go out and try again. So be a strong heart and good courage this day to your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks. Uh, distance is appropriate. Get the vaccines and the boosters if you're available, or if you're, if, you're, if they're available to you. <laughs> uh, and then these are all ways we show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. Loving God, thank you for the unending ways you offer us life and forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.